check out the new ClickSense Masterclass, which is out right now. A step-by-step -step learning program that's going to help you to get to the next level. It's got rave reviews and people are absolutely loving it. So don't miss out the chance. Enroll yourself now. Hey guys and welcome back. Super interesting tutorial today. Um, how to clean data. I mean, it's one of those things that really, really bother us, right? Because um, there is no such thing as clean data. It's just messy, messy world out there. So I thought we'd run through a super simple way to maybe clean your data based on a table that you have let's look into it so um, i have a key list here which essentially means that whenever i have a data field which is one of these i want it to be named into the correct name so whatever so this is my id um, so i've created a key list so every time i have some kind of data that is remotely related to something like this then i want to map it to the correct name and this is my data here so i have a column called sprint name and a bunch of variations of this ID. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to clean this up using my table. Are you interested? Uh, I think it's going to be really helpful. So the way we're going to do it is by using a for loop. So how are we going to do it? Well, we're going to, in step one, we're going to create a for loop that looks at the ID and saves the correct name into two variables. Then we're going to load our table uh, that has the column that we want to, you know, clean the data with. Uh, and we're going to see, we're going to do a wild match. And if any of that column name matches or wild matches the ID, then we just replace it with the correct name. And then we repeat that for every single ID in our key list. So how are we going to start? So now we have our key list here. This is my key for correcting the name. So whatever is a variation of this, I'm going to change it into the correct name here. And this is the data that I want to clean. So first, we're going to start with the for loop. So we're going to create a for loop. And the for loop says for i is equal to 0. So that is from the first instance of it. What are we going to do? For i is equal to 0 to how many, uh, what are the total number of instances? Well, that the total number of instances is how many ever is in my key list. So in my key list, now I have 3. So it should be 3, right? Uh, how do we find this out? Well, we can find it out automatically by looking at the number of rows in my key list table. So I'm going to say for i is equal to 0 to number of rows of which table? Well, the table that I'm interested in is key list. For i is equal to 0 to number of rows in key list, uh, that would be all the rows. We want 1 minus, right? So we say minus 1. For i is equal to 0 to number of low rows in the key list, minus 1 because the we start from 0. We want to save our something called VID. What is VID? We want to peek and say, we say let VID is equal to peek and save our ID into this variable called VID. What is the ID? Well, in this case, it's the first instance, right? So it is killer underscore AF that I want the correct name to be kill. So I'm, I want to store this killer underscore AF so that I can later match. If this VID matches any of this, I want to replace it, right? So how do I do that? I say peak. What am I peaking? Well, I'm peaking into the column called ID. Which particular row am I peaking? Well, I'm going to peek into the row where it is I. Basically, it is dollar $I. Oops, it's not four. And what is the table that I'm peeking from? That is key list. If you're not familiar with peak, well, I think I have a video um, on how peak function works. So key list, close it. Let the correct name is equal to peak. And in this case, which is the column that we are peeking? We're peeking into the correct name column. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it here. Correct name, which is the row. Well, the row is nothing but the dollar i. So for the first instance, i is equal to zero. So we're going to look into the first particular row here. And since we're using a for loop, we want it to be automatic, right? So I'm just going to put dollar i here, which table again, the table is key list and we close it. Good. So now we have two variables that are going to be created, vid and v correct name. And what is happening exactly? 
we are running a for loop. So when for i is equal to zero, we are saying let v id is equal to peak into the column id. What is the row? In this case, row is nothing but zero because i is equal to zero. We are picking this particular instance. We are saving it into v id. So we say every time v id is this, then what is the correct name? We are again peaking into the same particular key list that we have and we are saving the correct name into a variable called v correct name. Fantastic, right? So now we have v id, v correct name, and now we need to apply it. Where do we want to apply it? Well, we want to apply it to this particular table here because this is the one with the, the messy data that we have, right? So I'm going to say final table. I'm going to load. What do I want to load? I want to load the sprint name because that is the name of my column. And where is it coming from? It is coming from resident called table. So I'm going to say resident table. Great. And what, uh, what do I actually want to do here? Well, essentially, if the sprint name matches VID, then I want it to replace it with the correct name here, right? But, and I can use the variables over here. So, so we say, if wild match, what are we wild matching? Well, if the sprint name matches what does it match? Well, the VID here. So for i is equal to zero, first what we're doing is I'm taking this particular instance and then I'm running the sprint name and I'm saying, hey, if it matches any of these, then replace it with the correct name. How do I know the correct name? It's already stored in the variable called v correct name here, right? So I'm saying that if while match sprint name with what? Well, if it matches with VID. Yeah, but we're doing a while match, so it's better to put stars and it's a string. So I'm going to put it under. Yeah, so star, if it while matches, what do I want it to do? Well, in that case, I want it to replace it with the correct name. Great, and save it as correct name. Good, so Oops, let's just change this correct name resident table oops all the fields have to be so this is a string so we are telling the table as key list and even the column here has to be inside quotes before we forget and this as well has to be inside single quotes right um, because when we say peak this is the column name inside single quotes and the table name as well. Put these quotes in the right places here and let's drop the tables. Tables that I want to drop, that is my key list and my table here. So let's load this and now we see 7, 7, 14, 21. So essentially what's happening is every time click picks i is equal to zero and then runs all of it and then the next i and then runs all of it and it replaces it. So let's see how how it looks like in the front end uh, table and here I'm gonna say sprint name good this is the sprint names and we want to see the corrected names right so we see here that we have hmm, we have the corrected names but we have a lot of null values why is that because uh, every time you run it if it doesn't match in this case we haven't given any option here so essentially what we could do is we could just do a preceding load and remove all the nulls so load star where not is null correct name i think it's and now you see that you only you don't have the null values anymore pretty cool so now you can see that all of it that is the sprint names killer underscore af has been replaced with whatever my key list says so killer af is nothing but kill killer amr killer amr here different versions of it is actually renamed to the correct name killer sprint is renamed to the correct name all based on my key list and then we just drop the key list here so was this helpful was it complicated? I don't think so. Um, so essentially, you first create a key list, then you have the table that you want to clean, 
and then you do a for loop. What does a for loop do? You save all each of the ID and the corrected name into a variable. And then you load the table that you want to clean and you say if it matches, then replace it with the corrected name. Where do you get the corrected name from? From the peaking and uh, the variable that you stored based on your peak function. And you just apply it and then you just remove off all the null values. So I hope it was helpful. Um, check out the link in the description below for the course in ClickSense and you're going to learn a lot about variables, um, how, to, how to really enhance your click game. Um, it's super cool. A lot of students really, really love it. Uh, and I'm also working on um, a super easy way, something like this, different scripts that can help you all um, easily get through your day so that you can just copy, paste, and look at different examples and put it into practice. If you're interested in that, just sign up for my uh, newsletter below so you will have information when it's out. Um, otherwise, check out the description below. Please leave a like. We really, really appreciate it. And um, see you in the next one. Yeah. Peace.